Okay. Hi there, guys. Ooh. Okay. I'm going to show you how to download TeamSpeak 3 today. So what you want to do is go to Google and then type in TeamSpeak. Fuck. Uh, yeah. TeamSpeak downloads. There we go. I don't know how that wound up being like that, but that's good. Okay. Click on that. Wait for it to load. <coughs> Making this nice and simple for all you retards out there. Click on the downloads link and all the way at the end. And depending on what type of um, computer you have, it's going to be different. But mine is a 32 bit Windows, so I'm going to click on download right there. Scroll all the way down. Hit I agree. Then you're going to hit the run button when the screen pops up. And if it doesn't pop up, it should pop up with something that says it's blocked. And then you side click on that and click on run or download whatever the fuck it says. Now it's gonna take a minute or two to load, and yeah, then we'll get down to business. It's really simple, really. It's just this is just a basic tutorial for all you retards that can't seem to get it. Yep, so I'm gonna go bathroom real quick and I'll come back and I'll be done. Shit, this thing's fucking taking long. Okay, well, um, it's gonna be done in like 20 seconds. Okay. When you're done, it should pop up with this. <clears throat> if it doesn't, then you're downloading the wrong one, and it won't run for your computer, and you're going to have to choose the right one. You're going to hit the Run button right there. And then this mother, then load, Unpacking Data. Okay, then Basic Client Setup will show up for you. I agree. Install for I chose for just for me, but you can choose for whatever one you feel like. Um, choose a location if you don't like that one. Click on the browse button to find another one. That one's usually fine though. Um, select location where to install configuration. I like this one, but you can use whatever one you want. Uh, start menu name if you want to change. Give it a name for your start menu, and then click on. And if you don't want to that, click on don't create and do shortcuts, and then just click on the install button. I already have this installed, so I'm not going to do that. But after it's all done, basically, it it's done. There you go. Yes, I do. And then I'll show you some basic shit to play with on TeamSpeak. What you're going to do is you're going to go right there, open up TeamSpeak. Once it's done loading, see I have mine set up so you can see through on shit. I don't know if you can see that, but it's pretty cool. Um, you go to connections, choose a connection, choose a nickname. Right now I'm going to Team NPs, connect. Hey, okay then, see? Now, when you first get in, you're gonna. Ah, uh, fuck. Mute these motherfuckers. Okay. Okay then, whatever. Uh, mute speakers and headphones. There we go. Muted them now. Okay, so now we're in here. What you're gonna do is 
to do some basic stuff. You know how when you come in and um, when you first go in, you can hear an annoying ass robot noise. And if you don't like that, because I took that shit right off. But if you don't like it, what you're going to do is go to settings, options, go to notifications, and go to sounds deactivated. If you want to change them by yourself to seeing which one you want to have play, if you like one of these, I don't know why you would, but if you do, then you would just go to default sound pack and then just click this off on which ones you don't want on. And then there you go. But I'm just going to stick with sounds deactivated for now. Um, and for the push to talk, uh, yeah, discard. If you're gonna, if you like when you, once you have a thing you like though, you're gonna hit apply and then okay. And then you'll open it back up to come down to here. And if you want to go to capture, if you don't want to have auto talk, you're gonna go to capture. Same way you get to the settings, options, capture, push to talk, and hold on, continuous transmission here I'll make it look better for you guys right now okay hold on um, so now what you're gonna do is go back up here you're gonna go to capture push to talk and if you and just click on this button right here and it says select a hotkey app um, combination that you want to use and I use all because control pisses me off but yeah um, and that's basically all you should do but if you want this other thing that uh, someone showed me that was pretty cool, uh, you can change different style that you like on it. System default, and it changes team to set on the next reset. Okay, whatever. Um, you can change the transparency of the background. If you look, you can see how the the chat screen itself. I mean, um, the board thing. It actually gets lighter and translucent. So I thought that was pretty cool I changed it to around this way so if I open it up to see shit but yeah that's about that's about that's pretty cool stuff about it actually I like it a little bit darker but whatever that's good for now um, if you side click on people you can add them as a friend here go to someone I don't have added you can add them as a friend and then you can go on to the contacts right here and click on them and shit and it tells you when they were last seen and stuff and where they were last seen on and what day they were last seen if they haven't been on so that's pretty cool I guess <clears throat> last seen now if they're already on uh, and there's another thing Hold on, I'm gonna change this real quick it's pissing me off but settings options transparency I'll move it up to like there that, sounds, that looks good Okay, um, and there is another pretty cool thing that's on there is the chat window. So when you're in here, like if you want to talk in this chat instead of using IRC or anything, you got to call something, you just go in here and you just type in whatever you want. And it gets sent to everyone in this, this whole room. And it changes whenever you go in a different room. So, yeah, that's about all there is right now. That, that, that's about everything you need to know and if you want to go uh, AFK and you want to set up uh, an away message away status so people know that you're away that's how you do it this mutes every sound this mutes all the sounds and stuff mute speakers and headset so when you, if you don't want to hear anyone you click on that to mute it this mutes you so you can't talk um, and you can set a bookmark if you like this channel and you want to have to and you want to be able to go in there and whenever you want what you do is you just go <coughs> click on book new bookmark and then it shows up with the information already set you can give it a name if you want hit apply okay and then when you go in you're gonna see team Street public no notorious PK is one or uh, whatever you named your two or whatever you made <coughs> And that's about all. You can set some hotkeys if you want. I don't know. I don't have any of them set up. You can set an avatar if you want. Just look around in your folders and shit. Pick a folder and then hit OK. Um, that's about all. So, you should be able to understand it now. If not, you're retarded.